yeah we've just seen uh, several bodies being retrieved yesterday today also and uh, the massacre that happened in in, in uh, Gidurai, Gidurai I mean the president lied to us that there was no massacre but uh, we remember the video of the president when he was saying that uh, he is going to they are going to go out again uh, after those terrorists that entered parliament and so they saw people walking to towards it uh, on Tika road and the police went to Gidurai and they massacred a lot of women who are closing their business mamambogas who are closing their businesses it is very sad that even the president himself he has not talked about this but he is the one who authorized the killings in in Gidurai and in Rongai because the police are working to protect him and so I think this kind of president should just leave the scene because he has proven that he is a butcher of Sugoi and uh, he needs to go because we cannot allow this kind of thing to be continue happening in this country. Nobody is safe from Ruto. Ruto is a killer and he was even a, a criminal for the ICC. He must be charged against charges against humanity he has uh, tried to he has eliminated a lot of people this guy i think he has killed more than a thousand people since he, he joined the politics it's very sad this scenario and it is very bad that we see that we elected this kind of person as a president i don't know where our brains were when we were electing in 2022 what happened to us what happened to those people who died in 2007 those people who are banned in churches how did you come how come we closed our eyes and we elected this kind of clown a killer a butcher how come guys just let us know what is going on because it's very sad to see our, uh, our mothers being removed from the dam i don't know it's a dam or a quarry it's very very sad yeah. this uh, kind of uh, scenario this kind of pictures they are very bad if you just look at them and you wonder what is going on in this kind of president he has done a, a lot of harm to this country the education sector is in shambles because he elected a person who he doesn't have even experience to lead the education sector our roads are in bad state he elected a person a clown who is showcasing his belts, his watches, he doesn't, and he comes to the television to tell us that there is no money for roads. I wonder what is wrong with this kind of leadership. I don't know what is wrong with the Ruto. Ruto was elected to not to work, and exactly I'm, I'm seeing that is what he is doing. He was elected to eliminate Uhuru. He was elected to send Baba to Bond. He was elected to kick out the dynasties. He was not elected to work for the people. We have just discovered that we messed up. A lot of people have lost lives because of our mistake of electing a clown, a killer, a butcher. It is very, very sad, uh, sudden situation in this country. I don't know what we're gonna do, but this guy must go whichever way it takes. He should go. I heard that the sniper boy, the guy who was uh, who made the video of like a sniper, he is missing. Uh, kindly confirm in the comments below if this guy is alive or is dead. So guys, uh, next time when you go to, if we have an opportunity for elections, guys, please don't elect clowns, don't elect this kind of leadership, people who are ready to kill our people. Do not elect this kind of leaders, guys. Just listen to me, guys. It is very, very sudden to see that we have this kind of leadership in power and there's nothing we can do to remove them because they are killing us. They are doing whatever it takes. They are coming after us. So it is good that he has been exposed. He killed around 300 people in Gidurai. The massacre of Gidurai was around 300 people. And so we cannot allow this kind of uh, thing to continue in this country. He lied to us that there is no massacre in Rome. He lied to us that there is no massacre in Imagine uh, in uh, Gudurai. And he comes to tell us that the police in Gudurai was snatched a gun and that's why they shot the people like that. They killed a lot of people. I don't know what is going on with this kind of president. I don't know. He has no apologies. People have died. People died in parliament. He never apologized. Now he here also in uh, we are retrieving bodies. He has not even come out publicly to speak. So I think, guys, it's time to get 16. All people should let us go to the street. Let us make sure that this guy is Let us do what he He must leave us. This guy has proven to be a butcher, a killer, and a uh, 
we are not uh, ready to continue under his leadership. Is the country should stop now. The country should stop functioning and everything until this guy goes home. I think that is what we need to do. Because it is very, uh, no one is safe, no one is safe, guys, in this country. Whichever you think that you are safe, you don't, you know, you never know. This guy is a terrorist. He's a ter completely terrorist, guys. So kindly wake up, guys, and uh, next time we go to the next just try to... Um, wake up and uh, elect a credible leader because yeah, this so is wrong we did the wrong thing to elect these clowns it is very very bad guys the mps from the mps very arrogant the governors are mismanaging all the money the ministers who are looting everything right left right center and this guy is just watching and is very happy about it i think ruto is a problem is the only biggest problem we have and the mps we need to do away with this whole thing guys we don't want anything to do with this kind of government anymore we are tired and we are no longer in their boat they should alight now so guys if you're watching this channel for the first time kindly subscribe and hit the like button so that we can reach more people thank you so much and uh be blessed and stay safe from the jaws of Ruto. He is watching and he is ready to kill anyone next. You who is watching, you are ready. Be careful with this kind of person because you never know. You, know, you might not be in Mandamano and you are abducted. and Like those mothers who are in the dam in a, who have been thrown in sacks. These women were closing their shop in Gidurai. They never knew that the police would come there to kill all of them like that and tie them in sacks and try to hide the evidence, throwing them here. We ne they never knew something would happen like that. They, they knew that they are still doing their own business. So you can think you are safe, but you never know what is going to happen to you. We are no longer safe in this country, guys. We have to come out and make sure that this guy lives. Office. We are not ready to be led by this kind of person. This person is a, a terrorist. He's more than a terrorist. He's a terror. This is a problem. He's a dangerous to the humanity. This guy is. A, this president is a problem, guys. We need to wake up. No one is safe. Know that you are no longer safe. If you are safe under this kind of regime a regime of killers a regime of naive people a regime of people who don't care who brag after stealing a regime of useless leaders who are no longer safe and we are calling upon this kind of government the whole of it to resign and go home thank you so much guys and uh, see you in the next video and kindly share if you